What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2021 Panini Donners Optic Football Six Box Half Case Break. Pikachu number two just sold out. All card ships. Second half of the case. Here we go. Last ball mojo was Ben taking the Vikings in this one. That's everybody else right there as well. Pizzle, I'm always going to bring you the luck. It's just whether you have treated Randall nicely or not. I think that's what it really comes down to. You know? What have you done lately for random.org? I'm just the guy that clicks the dice roll and clicks the randomizer. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, I've been I've been cheating on her lately. Hold on guys, Nick actually texted me something. Yeah, yeah, I know for sure. Cool. Alright. Let's keep it going, guys. No, no, we're just talking about a filler. I mean, uh, so Joe Pizzle is. Man, I remember the old Pizzle days. He was buying out V Cup hockey 15, 16 boxes and cases. Joe Pizzle came in here just guns blazing when he first got into the hobby. He's just like, I sold out five straight breaks. I know, sometimes you just have to say F it, right, Chad? Risk it for the biscuit. Devontae Adams. And a nice red hot rookies. Tree, uh, Trevor Lawrence, little T Law. Cam Akers. Mac Jones. LaVisca Chanel. Yeah. For sure. You know? Mortgage company will understand. 
right? Darius Slayton. You can open up a new credit card. You'll have 12 months to pay off the APR. You know, there's a lot of ways, Joe Pizzle. You can do it. Ayuk. I think you've already doubled your investment in your house in, in Arizona, though, Joe Pizzle. Come on. <laughs> your house that you got, uh, you know, 10 plus years ago, it's probably worth double now. Ezekiel Elliott. So you're just playing with house money. Number to 25. And another Red Hot Rookies, Kellen Mond. Exactly. See, Pizzle, what are we worried about? <laughs> what are you worried about? All right, we got a redemption. Ro uh, Allen Robinson. Black Sharky, by chance? Uh, black? Yeah, I do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Quinn, Miners, J.K. Dobbins. <laughs> The Darius Smith. <laughs> yeah, they're funny. Huh? Where's the little Jaspie blank? Oh, here it is. Fields is, is Poppy's calling it. Fields? Alright, let's see. The rookies autographs. Card number seven, Jamar Chase, actually. Hand with the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm not going to lie, though. The Bengals' white helmet is straight fire. I'm not going to lie. That all-white combo, whenever they end up using it, is just so straight fire. Eagles just dropped their black helmet this year. So I think starting this year, everybody is entitled to have a second helmet color. And since Eagles ain't going to do the Kelly Green jerseys until next year, they can still make a helmet, so they decided to drop the black today. But they don't. I guess Nike doesn't have the color palette uh, for the Kelly Green jerseys they're trying to do. So they were able to just obviously drop their black helmets to match black pants, black everything. But... Next year, the Eagles will have their Kelly Green. So a lot of the teams that are you know, trying to throw some real throwbacks, if they don't do them this year, they'll do them next year. But it seems like most, most teams are actually just having like a black helmet. I see the Jets dropped her helmet today too, right? Yeah, Carolina's is really nice too. I like the Giants retro jerseys too. It's about time. I don't know why the NFL is so strict. It's not like they don't have the money to have like two color helmet, two helmets of two different colors. Like it's easy when your helmet's neutral, like the Chargers, and you can have so many different color uh, uniforms, but the helmets stay the same. But it's dumb for like teams like the Eagles that want to go retro with a different color palette. It's like NFL could afford it. I don't see what the problem is. So I'm glad that they changed that rule. <laughs> I don't know if we want to see players <laughs> hit each other with leather helmets, Steve. <laughs> we'll have concussions for years. Imagine like... You know, getting hit by like Khalil Mack with like a leather helmet. You only you only have a leather helmet. So 
So it looks like Chad this year what they're doing is they're kind of treating it like contenders. So basically, if you're like a bigger rookie RPS kind of deal, like the bigger rookies will be on card, and then the lower tier rookies that they consider lower tier will be stickers, and all, mainly all the vets will be stickers too. Nice Jalen Waddle color, but that's the one thing that kind of separated itself with Optic is that it all used to be on card out of 175 there, but now it's kind of like kind of changing. I think certain 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 products will be stickers too. Like the RPAs I think are stickers as well. Anthony Schwartz. Byron Jones. Michael Carter. Kareem Hunt. Kenny Gainwell Hollow. Ronald Jones. Jamar Chase, we have a Devin Singletary, another Red Hot Rookies, this time it's T-Law, Amir Smith-Marsetti for the Vikings, that's Last Ball Mojo Ben. Yeah, some of these players need to be held accountable. I get it. At the time, you can't, you couldn't do it. But, you know, you should have a, a hard deadline. You know what I mean? If not, bust like Leaf did with, like, C.D. Lamb and just sue them. You know? But I, I get, I, I, I kind of get it, though, is that, like, the NFL is already partnered with Panini. And, yeah, if they're busy training and stuff, they don't want to have to stop them from training to go sign. But it's their obligation, right? I mean, they have a contract. You know, but... I feel like with with all that, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It, get, it needs to get a little bit better. It's like everybody, every other player, like Trevor Lawrence, like those guys can sign everything. Is it, why is it that Chase can't? You know, is he too busy? You tell me he's more busier than Joe Burrow? You know, Joe Burrow was obviously a redemption in certain products last year, but he... Signed it really fast though, right? Like I remember, I think in Optic or one of those products contenders, he just didn't make the, uh, the 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 print run right away, but he signed it like literally the week after. So it's just kind of it is annoying for sure. It's like how could some quarterbacks that are big time, bigger players than you, can sign but not you? <laughs> you know, like it's like Brody can sign it. He's like the starting quarterback for the Falcons, but you know, Chad over here is a backup receiver, you know, for the Seahawks, but yeah, he's not signing any of his autographs. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah, a few times, plenty of time too. Well, the whole point is, Chad, is that I guarantee you that they get sent books of stickers and they just kill it all at once, right? That's why stickers are used most likely throughout the whole year. Compared to them sending them the batches of cards as it comes in every few months, right? So it's a little different. It's it's more like in the beginning they have like batches of stickers they have to sign right away, so that way they have enough for like certain products throughout the year. But obviously, certain cards that they need on card, they send them as they produce them. I mean, obviously he signed on card and flawless and stuff and NT. Or at least flawless, at least. All right, next one. Sante Samuel Jr.
Nice Felipe Franks color match. That's number to 99. Trey Lance and a little Josh Jacobs. Patty Mahomes. Whoa! Downtown gold vinyl for the Saints. One of one. How about that? Damn, I did not expect that. Hand with the Saints. Holy jeez. There you go. Damn. That's what we're missing in this case. Randy Moss. Hopefully there's another one like that. Larry Roundtree. Kyler Murray. To 299. Drew Brees' stuff is still so underrated too. Kyle Trask. Nice Javante Williams little color match there. Bronco that's going to Patrick. Scary Terry McLaurin. Retro Series Troy Aikman. Nice Davis Mills to 125. Nice little hollow. That's going to go to D. Porter and the Houston Texans. This was a very good box right here. Caleb Farley as well. And a Trey McKitty. Is that right? That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know how they're doing that. I think I finally got it. Alright, All right, well that was a nice box right there. Let's continue on, guys. So again, guys, pick your team three and four are just in single digits as well. Uh, if it hasn't sold out already. Um, we are at, yeah, two left in number three and five left in number four. Well, actually, Adam, I don't know if you, I don't know if you've seen that. Did you see that they had an opening a few weeks back for any redemptions that were over 120 days old? Um, I don't know if you've seen and signed up for that, but I know they had an open opening for that stuff like that. That was like a few weeks back, though. I think it's closed now. But if you went to the Panini uh, Direct um, app, you you could have seen it under events. But yeah, if it was over 120 days, you could trade it in for like uh, other cards slash white box redemptions and, and etc. like that. But you can still try, though. I think they'll, they'll happily take them. And I know at the National, too, they have like expired redemptions that you can get in line for. You just have to get there early. And that's also one of the main reasons why. Uh, um, that's one of the main reasons why people buy the VIP passes. Because you get in like an extra 30 minutes to an hour before the rest of the, the, the customers. Or the rest of the general public. So the first thing that people run to is Panini. They go to Tops. They go to Upper Deck. Wherever, wherever they're trying to get their redemptions redeemed and fulfilled for something else. So you really just have to go early. But yeah, I mean, that, that's something that you could do, though. But the National in general, I mean, to get the full experience, if you haven't been there, you know, right, you need a couple days. <laughs> it's just, it's such a huge show, and it's only getting bigger. Like, the la National in Chicago last year was wild. It got, like, they added an extra couple more, like, uh, areas to the main floor. And the breakers for them was even bigger. 
Well, that's the thing, Poppy. I know they had openings for appointments, which is closed now, but I don't, I don't, I still think you can still get in line and ask. My house, Alvin Kamara. Jeremiah Owusu to 40 for the Browns. Scary Terry McLaurin. I mean, if you get there early enough, Adam, you can probably kill the majority of the show in a day, but I think so you're not rushing and you want to see everybody, you know, everything. You do need a couple days, you know. It's just such a huge show now. And I expect this one to be really, really big. But, I mean, like I said, if you get there early enough and literally kill your whole day there from like 10 a.m. to 6, then you're, you, you can do it in a day. But it's just you're kind of going to have to be rushing around if you really want to see everything. And if you don't care to see everything, just kind of walk through, then, yeah, you can probably kill it in a day. J.J. Watt. Ryan Tannehill. No, I don't think so. I think it has to be like I, I I don't I think it has to be something older. I don't think you can get it redeemed there. Like if you just pull something today, unless it's an older product from like beginning of last year when they started, then maybe. And I think it has to be in the system already, right? You kind of need it. Kind of needs to be in the system. Tyler Boyd, Felipe Franks, pink laser, or pink velocity, I should say. And a downtown Troy Valamalu. Steelers. That is Michael Gallucci. Will Fuller. Zach Wilson. And a LaVisca Chanel Jr. Kevin Byer. Yeah, you had to do it through your own account, right? Yeah, because I remember I tried to do mine, and I already had requested a redemption for my Miles Sanders one, but when I tried it, it didn't, it didn't let me. I don't know why. I've had that thing for, like, almost three years now in my damn portal. Here we go, next box. Joe Burrow, Rising Sun. Jabril Cox, Hollow. Zadarius Smith. 299. Larry Roundtree, little color match there for the Chargers. We have a mythical. That looks really nice. 
Brett Favre for the Green Bay Packers. Justin Jefferson for the Vikings. And a Brandon Ayuk. 1099. And Rashad Bateman to 99 on card for the Ravens. Rashawn Slater, a lot of color for the Chargers, I must say. Damn, Chargers did really well with color. Jalen Waddle and a nice Stefan Diggs Black Pandora for the Bills to 25. Joe Theismann Retro Series. Joe Montana, Elijah Vera Tucker for the Jets to 199, and Devin Singletary to 125. Uh, yeah, I can leave a note for the shipping team if need be. All right, last box mojo, guys. So, so far, rookie quarterback-wise, we got a Mac Jones in the first half and a Davis Mills in the second half. We did get a one-on-one -on -one downtown gold vinyl, which was really nice. Was a vet, and then our second downtown was a vet. So, I don't know. Hopefully, there is something else nice hiding here rookie-wise. But this is my first case of doing this. You know, we'll see how the next case goes as well. Every case will be different, though. Devontae Smith, Patrick Sertain Hollow, another Devin Singletary, another Devin Singletary to two ninety nine. Collect the rainbow at this point. Mythical Black Pandora? This guy just got paid. He's the second highest paid quarterback in the NFL now. 19 of 25, Kyler Murray. Nice one for Ryan there. Kyle Pitts, Quinn Williams. We have a Brandon Ayuk, Pink Velocity. Kevin Byard, Titans. And I must say, this Black Pandora looks beautiful the way it is mythical. White Hot Rookies, Trey Sermon. Really? Well, yeah, right? Is, is it Mythical case hit or you mean the two downtowns? Jamar Chase, nice little Debo. K. 
Hayden Hurst. And Javante Williams to 125 is our last auto. Nice little hollow. Patrick with the Broncos. Saquon Barkley. Yeah, Hip Parade buys everywhere and they buy a lot off eBay. And they buy whole collections, like whole show booths, you know? Out of 50 JJ Watt. All right, sorry about that, Poppy. I know I was hoping some more Zach Wilsons for you. Just the white hot in the first half, really. Got a lot of other color for other rookies, but not Zach Wilson. We'll get him next time, though, man. All right, guys. So there you go. That's the first full case. All right. So Javante, Kyler Murray, Bateman, Troy Polamalu, downtown, Davis Mills, and we got a little one on one. And then, of course, some more colors here. With an auto there, Wosu, Javante, Mir Smith, My House, Jalen Waddle color. We did get a Jamar Chase. Another Red Hot rookie there as well. So appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.